Alrighty guys, today we have quite a large unboxing, as you can see. A lot of you guys ask me where I get my capsule play rail trains, and the answer 9 times out of 10 is eBay. But they normally come from the same seller, and that seller is actually LNJ Toys. These guys have been a huge help to me, not only for collecting capsule play rail, but lots of other stuff too. I'll have their eBay store in the description, and if you guys are interested in getting any capsule play rails for yourself, I highly recommend this seller. They don't sell these things for crazy prices, they're very negotiable, and their number one goal is helping people like me and you with collecting their Thomas and Friends trains, so I highly recommend these guys. I mean it when I say they're genuinely good people. And it's them we have to thank for today's video because they've actually sent me this giant surprise box. I have no clue what's inside of this package. I just know that it's probably, you know, a uh, capsule play rail related and I'm super excited to see what they've sent me. So huge shout out to them and a major thank you. But before we unbox this, it'd be wrong if I didn't mention that they also helped me receive a Harvey recently. I mean it when I say 90% of the collection that I have is literally thanks to them. And the best part about it was this guy wasn't like $90. I think he was like eight or 10, which really isn't that bad for these guys. You can see here his crane moves and everything. All right, that's enough of Harvey. We didn't come here for him. We came here for this. Let's just go ahead and get into it, guys. I'm excited. I want to see what's in here. Don't worry. I will be showing Butters everything that uh, we got. He's taking a little nap right now. I don't want to go disturb him. We are in, everybody. Here's another look at their cards and their socials. Again, huge shout out to LNJ Toys for making this video possible. Alrighty, let's see. What do we have in here first? Is that okay? Alrighty. Looks like we have a glittery Boko. Let's go ahead and get this guy out of his packaging so I can show you guys better look at them more up close wow all righty we have another boko butters is going to love this you know i know a lot of people aren't fans of the sparkly range but i have to say i just love the aesthetic of them i especially love that they did it with boko of all engines this is this is amazing you really can never have too many bokos and this guy looks absolutely amazing but there seems to be some more in here what is oh <gasps> No way. No, no, no way. Are you serious? Boulder. We have Boulder and Rusty. Boulder and Rusty. This is perfect. This is amazing. No way. I've been looking to get Boulder myself for so long, and to actually have him and a normal Rusty, this is this is tremendous. Wow, and they both look amazing in my opinion, especially Boulder. I believe this is also my first Rusty that isn't glittery as well, so now we have a, a standard one of him, which are always essential. So, so far we have Rusty, Boulder, and Boko, and this has been one heck of an unboxing so far, and we've literally just started. Let's see, what else do we have in here? Is this, oh wow, oh wow, okay, let's see here. We have Capsule Herald, I definitely have never had one of these guys. Oh, wow, his propellers move with his wheel. I didn't know that. That is so cool. Alrighty, Harold the helicopter now joins the fleet. What else do we have in here? Oh, Salty. I believe this one's... Yeah, this one's different from the one that I have. Let me see if I can... Them out really quick. Yeah, this one has a uh, much nicer looking face. This is... This is so cool. I didn't actually know they made uh, Salties with different faces. But I have to say, this one's probably my favorite one now. It actually, um... Looks like salty. So cool. All right, let's see. What else do we have in here? Oh, Yong Bao's Tinder. Does that mean we have? It does. We have Yong Bao and his Tinder. Wow. And the Yong Bao is still new in packaging. I have to put the stickers on him. Here is his Tinder, and this looks amazing. I don't think this is a sticker. I think this is actually printed on the Tinder. And from the looks of Yong Bao, it looks like uh, there's not many stickers for me to have to put on him either. A lot of his detail is printed as well. Wow, he looks amazing. I'm going to put his uh, stickers on and show you guys what he looks like uh, at the end of the video. So don't worry, I will show you the completed um, uh, Yong Bao. Let's see here we have... Oh, we have a motorized Pizzy B. James. Looks like his buffers are a little bit off, but I can fix that really easy here soon. He looks so cool. For those who remember, I actually have the same one, but it's a pull-along instead of a motorized one, so this is super, super cool to have. The Busy B. James has to be one of my favorite James variants, so to have one that actually goes on his own is super cool. Is that what I think it is? No, no, there's no way it is. That can't be. It is! No way! Ladies and gentlemen, we have Rocky! And his car! Just wow. As you can see here, he swivels around, his uh, crane moves a little bit, and this goes on the front to complete him and he looks amazing this is adorable i love his little face i love everything about him i believe the stickers on his side here are upside down but it's really not that big of a deal just to have a rocky is enough for me that is amazing let's see what else do we have in here is that 
we have Polji, and it is the one that, as you see here, can we get it too? Yep, opens up and has the vegetables on the inside. This is wow this one was super unexpected but so cool here you can see his stickers his adorable little face he's got the free the road sign on the top this is amazing and again so detailed for such a small model this is this is wonderful what else do we have in here is that yeah we have birdie the bus the road vehicle collection is now expanding a little bit as well i love his little face they basically captured everything there is to capture with birdie perfectly i mean it when i say these have to be some of the best toys slash models that you can collect they literally look so amazing and in here i believe let's see here yep we have a whole bunch of troublesome trucks we have a gray gondola we have another troublesome van which probably is my favorite you know piece of a uh, wind up rolling stock we have a yellow gondola which i've actually never seen before this is super cool to have and here we have a red gondola and you guys know how i feel about the capsule play rail troublesome trucks these guys are adorable and you literally can never have too many of these especially if you're like me and like making really long and complex consists and these guys will go perfectly with those i believe that's everything here on this top layer so let's go ahead and see what's beneath oh wow oh wow is this all Oh, wow, it is. These are all still in the... These are literally all still in the little Easter eggs. These are... Okay. Wow. Okay, I'm not sure where even to start with this, so I guess we'll start with these uh, little pieces of track. Here we have some light brown and dark brown straight and curved pieces, which are honestly essential because flex track does not like to work with your engines. Here we have... I believe this is a tunnel of some sort. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to put this one together and uh, show you guys. Here we have... Oh, another, I guess, tunnel we'll see here we have oh more water track i believe there's two in this piece yeah there's two pieces in this package that's cool here we have oh two things of flex track also in the light and dark brown that the uh, other rails were in and here we have another tunnel i believe and is that this is yep we have ace see if you guys can see him through the packaging he is adorable i don't believe yeah he's not sparkly like most of the other stuff in here is i think everything that's still in the uh Easter egg is shiny. So let's go ahead and see what we can find through it all. Here we have a surprise Thomas, as you guys can see through his little um window. Here we have, I actually can't, oh, it's the castle. I can tell because of the sticker, it's the castle. And this one is also shiny and uh, glittery like the rest of the stuff. I have no clue what this actually looks like, so I'll have to put it together. Here we have, is that James with a snow hat? That is James with a Christmas hat, that is adorable. And he is shiny as well, we have a shiny, snow hat james let's see here i have i'm having trouble seeing what this is i see a sticker of sir topham hat some little railway workers and something blue i believe it's a piece of track but i have no clue what this is again i'll have to put it together and uh, show you guys here we have is that <gasps> is that gordon from what i can tell he has the cgi smile face and is sparkly as well but i am not complaining at all the fact that i have a gordon is amazing i don't know what it is the capsule play rail gordons are just some of my favorites they're just so adorable and also so hard to find i'm super excited to put this guy together let's go ahead and see what else is in here though is that oh we have connor and just like the others as you can see he is also sparkly and looks amazing i don't think i've ever seen the capsule play rail connor so to put him together will be pretty fun is that well it wouldn't be right to get gordon and not have spencer i suppose so here we have him as well i believe this is also my first capsule play rail spencer so that is a huge plus as well looks like i have two high speed dudes that'll be tearing up my main line here soon let's see here i believe this is oh, it looks like we have some track with a yellow sparkly car inside i'm not exactly sure what the cars themselves are i don't know if they're like mail vans or if they're um something else but uh i guess we'll see when we open this guy here we have some flex track here in a light blue and white just like the rest of the stuff it is also sparkly and uh, glittery let's see here what is Oh, we have Cranky. So now I have two variants of Cranky. I have the normal one, and now I have the sparkly version as well. Looks like I'm going to have to make a clammed out Brendam docks. Let's see here. What is this? I can't really tell, unfortunately, what um this is. I can tell that it's green and sparkly. Um, I guess we will see when uh, I put it together. I'm pretty sure this is another tunnel, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, it is white and sparkly um, and looks like track. Yeah, that has to be track right there, but I am not sure what this makes. Here we have even more glittery straight track, and I believe some curves in there as well. Here we have another one of the glittery vans. I believe this one is, yeah, this is just like a castle van. And last but definitely not least, we have a glittery Percy, and he looks adorable, just like the rest of the guys. Percy and Gordon have to be some of my um 
favorite capsule play rail trains, and I have no idea why. It's just so cute to see them miniaturified, I guess. And I accidentally forgot to take Ace out of here, so let's move them out of there. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have to uh, try to put all of these together. So let's go ahead and get started on trying to, well, one, assemble all of these guys, and two, figure out what some of this stuff is, because I'm not going to lie, I have no clue as to what some of this is going to build and turn into. So let's go ahead and figure out. Alrighty guys, so here is everything once it's all completed and built and wow, there is a lot to go through here. First we have Thomas at this little goal area thing. This like flips up and down to, I guess, you know, let you know if the engines have made it. Here we have the Sparkly Boko at Ulfstead Castle. And this is probably my new favorite destination just because, wow, even though it was really complicated to build. Here we have Connor once he's all done and his stickers were something else, but once they were actually applied, you know, he looks quite amazing. Here we have Percy and once he's completed, it turns out he's not just a Sparkly Percy, he's a Christmas Sparkly Percy, just like the James over there. And these two are probably some of my favorites now just because I love the festivity of them. Here is Yong Bao and Yong Bao looks absolutely amazing. I have to say the fact that they're able to get so much detail on such small models is just mind blowing to me. And of course we have our two mainline monsters. We have Spencer and Gordon now with their stickers all applied and these two look awesome and adorable. You knew I was gonna say it, come on. I've actually never had a capsule play rail Spencer, so to finally have one of him and a Gordon to match him, it's just so cool. Here we have the bridge, and this also came with stickers, but I didn't actually put them on. I honestly kind of like how it looks without the stickers, but I do have them should that ever change. And inside of this, it turns out the cars were little Ulfstead Castle cars, which works out perfectly, you know, for having Ulfstead Castle. And here is the little red one. These two are adorable. It's really cool to have such a unique rolling stock. Here's one of the tunnels once they're built. I actually have pulled her on top of this one, and I have to say, these pieces are much bigger and much more detailed than I thought they were going to be, not just your average tunnel. Here is Cranky once he's completed, standing above all the engines and looking amazing while he does it. And next to him, we have another snowman. And because it's brand new, is in much better condition than the one I have now, so I'm super hyped for that one. And on top of the car here is Ace. I'm sure you guys know I'm not really too big of a fan of Ace, but I have to say his capsule play rail model is quite adorable. He is something else, I'll tell you that. As a model and as a character, this is absolutely adorable. So that is everything, guys. I haven't got around to unboxing all of the track yet, but when I do, I plan to make a new larger layout. And I have to say, with all of this being here, it'd almost be wrong if I didn't. But before we get around to that, I think there's a certain somebody who may want to see these things for himself. Um, sir, sir, that is my Boko. You killed the truck. You're killing the truck. You took Boko and you're taking my castle truck. Really?